Welcome to City English. I'm Cherry. City, C-I-T-Y, stands for Can I Teach You? Can I Teach You has two meanings. One meaning is permission. May I teach you? Is it okay with you? The other meaning is ability. Can I teach you? Do I have the skills? Welcome to City English. A little difficult. Page 176. Okay. Please repeat after me. What kind of shirt would you like me to get you? What kind of shirt would you like me to get you? Okay. So we're going to talk a bit about the pronunciation. What kind of coffee? Would you like me to get you? So what is my American pronunciation? Okay, one more time. What kind of coffee would you like? Nah. <laughs> For you. What? What, kind of, what kind of coffee would you like me to get you? Well, this is just Korean. <laughs> what kind of coffee would you like me to get you? Get you. What kind of what kind of what kind of? What kind of coffee would you like? What kind of coffee would you like? Would you like me to get you? Would you like me to get you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Would you like me to get you? 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 Would you a plain white shirt. What's the problem with this answer? So, what kind of shirt would you like me to get you? I think I'd like. What's wrong with this answer? Is it correct? I would like. Mm hmm. Why does this answer bother me? It bothers me because it is indecisive. I'm going to the store right now. Don't tell me what you think you'd like. Tell me what you want. So the problem with this is that I'm going to the store right now. What kind of shirt would you like me to get you? I think I'd like means I don't know. Uh, I'm I not want. sure. Right. So it is better to say I'd like or please get me. Yeah. So the problem with this is that I think I'd like suggests I'm not sure or I'm thinking about it, but I'm going. Tell me right now. Okay, so I'm going to ask you the question, and you're going to give me an I'd like answer. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gemma, what kind of coat would you like me to get you? Coke. What kind of coat would you like me to get you? One more time. What kind of coat would you like me to get you? What kind of coat? Coat. What kind of coat would you like me to get you? Coat. Mm hmm Coat. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd like. I'd like a short, short coat. Mm hmm mm -hmm. I'd like a short coat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jan. Uh, what kind of phone would you like me to get you? I'd like. Uh, I'd like. Um, Samsung phone. Mm -hmm. Jemma, what kind of coffee would you like me to get you? I'd like a vanilla latte. 
Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of sandwich would you like me to get you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what you I like? I don't like. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like. Um, <laughs> BAT, BAT. <laughs> I don't like um, just uh, mm, cheese sandwich. Okay. Uh, Chama, what kind of book do you want me to get you? Oh, I like a novel. Mm. Junyan, uh, what kind of tea do you want me to get you? CD? What kind of tea do you want me to get you? Huh? What kind of tea do you want me to get you? What <laughs> kind of tea? What kind of wow. tea? Tea? Mm -hmm. Tea or tea? You know what tea? Mm -hmm. What kind of tea do you want me to get you? I don't like uh, my ears. I don't like uh, mm -hmm. cheese and green tea. Green tea. Mm -hmm. If you go to a fast food restaurant mm -hmm. in America, mm -hmm. what do they usually ask you? Oh, what do you? Uh, what would you? What? Hmm. What would you? No. Hmm? Fast food restaurant in America, what do they often ask you? What can I get 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 you? So if you are in a place that's very casual, mm -hmm. what would you like to order is formal. Mm -hmm. But uh, what can I get you? What can mm -hmm. I get from you? What can I get you? We did too. So if if ask me mm -hmm. the question, so I'd like no. Ah, I'd, like. I'd like I'd like a cheeseburger. Uh or what would informal be? So I'd like a cheeseburger is formal. Mm -hmm. What would informal be? Can I get a cheeseburger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I get a cheeseburger and fries? Can I get a number two? Mm -hmm. Can I get a coke? So informal, can I get a? Mm -hmm. Can I get a? Okay, page 179. We're practicing ask. ask. And we have to remember a couple of things. Ask person to verb. Ask person for noun. And ask person if person verb. So, for example, I asked him to call. I asked him for a phone call. I asked him if he called me. Okay. I'm going to give you the question, and you're going to give me an ask structure. So, for example, what's your name? I asked him his name. I asked him for his name. I asked him to tell me his name. You decide. Okay, Jinghyun, mm -hmm. do you have a match? She she asked. I I asked. I asked him. Mm -hmm. For match. For having match. For match. For. Mm -hmm. Tiny word. For a match. Yes. <laughs> I asked him for a match. <laughs> okay. Gemma, please help me. Oh, I asked him to, I asked him if he 
had a if he has a had a has a time. One more time. I ask him. Uh, past tense. Okay. I ask him if he had a time. Had time. I asked him if he had time to help me. Or I asked him to help me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jinghyun, are you busy? I asked him. Is he busy? One more time. I asked him. Mm -hmm. I asked him if who, I if he if he is were busy. Past tense. I asked him if he was busy. I asked him if he was busy. Okay, Jimma, please turn down the radio. I asked her to turn up the video. Mm, I asked him to turn down the radio. The radio. Okay. Uh, please wipe your feet. I asked him. I asked him to what? Please wipe your feet. Why? Wipe. Wipe. Mm -hmm. I asked him to wipe the feet. Whose feet? His feet. I asked him to wipe his feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jimma, where do you live? I asked him. Uh, for a location? Uh, I asked him whose location? Uh, for his location. Okay. I asked him for his location, correct? I asked him where he lived. Okay. Um, Jinyan, what's your number? I asked him his number. Hmm. Okay. Number seven. Number seven. Can you give me a lift? What's the meaning of lift? Lift? Mm hmm Five me. Give me a ride. Mm -hmm. Number eight. What's the meaning of spare? Spare. Mm -hmm. Ah, spare means extra. Usually, if someone says, "Can you spare?", it means I'm not going to give it back. Mm -hmm. So, can you spare a dollar? You're never giving that dollar back. Mm -hmm. Borrow means I will give it back. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Um, can you spare some time? I'm not giving it back. Mm -hmm. um, can you spare some change? Mm -hmm. I'm not giving it back. So spare means extra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just for free. Hmm? Just for free. Yes. So I have one more question, and it's related to number five. I asked him. Why he can't come, why he couldn't come. I asked him why he can't come. I asked him why he couldn't come. What's the difference? In this case, couldn't is the past, mm -hmm. and can't is the present. Mm -hmm. So even though we know that couldn't is potential ability, he couldn't blah, blah, blah. I asked him why he couldn't come past. I asked him why he can't come real. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay. Then I need to ask you. Told. Advised. Expected. Recommended. So 
Okay, and reminded. So, using I, subject, and he, object, or him, please make a sentence. Told, advised, expected. So, I told him. You're thinking too much. Yeah. Think less. Told him go. I told him. I told him what? Go is a verb, so I told him to to go. I told him to go. Okay. 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 Same sentence using advised. I advised him. Who arrive there? To arrive, to arrive at home, to arrive home as early as possible. Okay, expected. Oh, I expected. Uh, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. I expected she. Uh, I expected her to. Mm, uh, to get high salary. Uh, get. get High salary, salary. Wages. Oh, high salary. High salary. Okay, recommended. I recommended. It's just a comma, just a free sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommended. Uh, my, my, I recommended my husband. Nope. I need a pronoun. Um, I recommended him. Nope. I recommended her. Nope. What? <laughs> I recommended. I recommended. What? Him? He? No. He. I recommended he. Ah. Why? I recommended he to. No, he should. Oh. What's your verb? Oh, I recommend hmm. he quit. Quit? Um, quit. Quit? Um. Okay. Smoking. Okay. Because my husband. I really recommend this. He quit. Quit. Kid, kid, kid. Qu quit. 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 Kid. Mm -hmm. Talking. Okay. Suggested. I suggest you. Different. A different. I suggest. I suggest. I suggested. I suggested. He. <laughs> oh, I recommended he. I, I oh. suggested he. Um. Um. He. He works. Okay, remind it. I reminded him. 
I divided again to do exercise regularly. Two exercises. Two exercise regularly. Okay, so recommended and suggested are different. I told him, I advised him, I expected her, I reminded her, I recommended he, I suggested he. So remember that when we use suggest and recommend, it changes into a subject pronoun. Because we have an invisible that. We have an invisible that and the other thing that students often forget is there's no S. This never changes. So that's why you always why learn it as. Hmm? Why is there no S? Just rule. Yeah. Uh, just rule. So I suggested that he. A lot of Koreans, I did not know this, but Koreans put an invisible should. I suggested that he should go. That way you remember not to change your base infinitive. Yeah. So I suggested he go. I suggested that he go. I suggest, oh, we never say this one. This one you can say, this one you never say. So with recommend and suggest, they are different. Recommend and suggest is the same rule. Right. Recommend, suggest, and uh, what is it? Insist. Mm. Any questions? Mm. Nope. Okay. So.